Hello everyone. This video I'm going to show you how to switch between command prompt and PowerShell in Visual Studio Code Terminal. Command prompt is a command line interpreter for the Microsoft Windows operating system. It is a string based and older batch language with working as a standard set of functions. It's only interpret batch commands and then output get generated as a text characters. PowerShell is a task based command line interface and scripting language based on the .NET framework. It is a much more powerful than command prompt and it can interpret both batch commands and PowerShell commands. The output get generated as a collection of objects, not only the text characters. Here I will show you how to switch between command prompt and PowerShell in Visual Studio Code terminal. For that, go to the terminal. If you notice the currently the command prompt is PowerShell. If you want to switch as a command prompt, click that arrow, select default cell. Here it's getting prompted to select either command prompt or Windows PowerShell. I installed the Git, so that's the reason it's getting asked to select the Git base as well. Before I'm changing the command prompt, currently it's a PowerShell mode. Let me add the command called directory. So here it listed all the directory for mode, last, modified, and length, and name. Let me switch the command prompt. I'm selecting this select default shell and selected the command prompt. So if you notice the change is not reflected, so we need to restart the Visual Studio code or reload the Visual Studio code. For that, go to the command prompt, type developer reload window. It reloaded and then the command prompt changed. Let me add the same directory command. So this is the look like the command executed with the string based, the text characters. So you can switch the terminal command prompt or power cell from command palette also. If you go to the command palette from Visual Studio Code using command control shift P then type here as a terminal select default shell then it's prompting to select the either the command prompt or windows powershell so once you changed the powershell or command prompt you need to reload the visual studio code to changes get reflected for that go to again the command prompt and select the developer reload window. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching again.